Coach, I got to ask about the dance. After the, Virginia, <laughs> after the Virginia victory, just tell me about the dance. Did I look like I had no earthly idea what I was doing? <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if that's the way it looked, that was it. Uh, actually, I've been uh, out of my tower over here in the indoor facility watching us practice, and we played music while we practiced there in certain periods. And I got watching J.C. Coleman. He's kind of a dancer in our, in our team, and I kind of got watching him do his stuff. And so uh, when I did the only thing I'd seen J.C. do, and whatever that was, that's what I did. So, <laughs> now we had some fun. And I, I, that's, that's what I'll miss, is having fun with those kids. They, uh, that's, a, that's a great group of kids uh, that uh, Coach is getting ready to take over. Here. You got to meet with Justin last night. What were your in- initial impressions, and what, what did you guys talk about? Uh, we, a uh, little this, a little that, but uh, I, I enjoyed meeting him. I uh, was very impressed with him from the beginning. I, uh, I think he, what you see is what he is. Uh, you know, I've always thought I was a pretty good judge of people. And, uh, I was impressed with him. So uh, I think, I think Virginia Tech made a great choice. And keeping here, Bud here, and hopefully some more coaches is a great choice. And, uh, and I want to see the program bigger and better. I'm, I'm, whatever I can do to help out, I sure will. And uh, want uh, too many people, too many great people treating me just exceptional. You know, I, I want to see this whole thing continue. Coach, I know it's the most important to you that, you know, the transition goes well and that Virginia Tech benefits. So do you feel pretty good about kind of the way things are working early on? I know it's kind of early. you got to waste Yeah, yeah. And, and Whit Babcock has been fantastic as uh, far as the way he's handled things. And, uh, and yeah, I, I mean, I've, I've been very impressed. The organization, the smoothness, the, you know, how our new coach is, how I know I am. We're going to make this thing work great for the next month and uh, do what's right for Virginia Tech. As Whit was describing his values, it sounded like he was describing your values, and you have to feel good about that because it really, they, you really do parallel this young man, yeah. at least. Yeah, I, I felt uh, you know, I, the kids are what are really important in this little deal, you know, what happens to them and what, and I think the uh, got a guy that really is interested in kids and I was so happy to see that. All right and I know how much Bud means to you I mean you guys are inseparable so it is it it probably be a little different watching him coach you know when you're not out there but nonetheless it's nice to see that he'll continue that tradition. You mean watching him coach and not going up to him to Bud calm down here a little bit. (laughs) (laughs) Tell him to pick up his play chart. We got to be good in this next series. Nah he uh he, uh, he coaches the right way. He gets a lot out of those players, knowledgeable. They listen when they, you know, he, well, he's the best in the country. I mean, I, I, the way he, uh, I, I told some people, the way he gets the game plan during the week, he's really good. But the way he can adjust to a game plan or what the other team is doing a little bit different, he's great. I'm sorry. And you know his experience, he's seen everything, and, you know, he just got a wealth of knowledge, and he knows what buttons to push, and um, he's, a, he's as good as it gets. The last one I have for you is, you know, Witt said, whatever coach wants to do, that's what, whatever his role is going to be is up to him. Do you have any ideas at all, kind of how you might want to help the university move forward or be involved in some way? Or No, not really. You know, I, I'm, I'm here if they need something, and, and uh, you know, if I can, can be of help and... and you know, so whatever. You know, I, I think both of us right now, uh, that that's for a later time. But, uh, you know, whatever I can do to help, I, I'd be glad. All right, see you for the ball, right? Okay, yeah. See you. Yep. See you. Yep. Did you get a little battle score during that skeleton? Pardon me? Did you get a little battle score yeah, in that celebration? Yeah, every time I go to Charlottesville, I get beat up. I got my <laughs> tooth knocked out. I got beat up here. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I think that uh, that might have been Chuck Clark when uh, he got uh, the interception. <laughs> we we're celebrating another whack. It was worth it, though. <laughs> yeah, it was worth it. I'll, I'll take those battle scars and bring them on back home. <laughs> That's all right. Appreciate Push. it, Coach.
I don't have a clue. So right now I can't be specific. We're going to sit down and kind of hammer out some things. I've been coaching the receivers at Memphis uh, for the last four years. Uh, I would assume that it would be something kind of similar to that, but I'm, I'm, I'm a relish the opportunity. Different situation than going into a Memphis program. This one, obviously, there are a lot. There's a big foundation here, and I don't know if you looked around, but the facilities are pretty good too. Yeah, so I, you have to feel good about where you're at. Yeah, I feel definitely good. I, I just had an opportunity to sit and basically visit the indoor, and I think it's probably one of the biggest indoors that I've been around. So uh, we're, we're ecstatic about it. Looking forward to building and continuing the legacy that's been here in the tradition. Uh, and so we're going to hit the ground running, dive right into it, and make this thing happen. All right, and the last question I would have is, you know, everybody wants to talk about recruiting. It's very important to win this in-state game, as I'm sure everyone's talking about, you yeah. know, Tech's won 12 in a row, so it's a, mm-hmm. it means a lot to them, and, and that's usually won during the recruiting battle. So tell me about that and, and kind of getting ingrained here in Virginia. Well, I know there's been a boatload of talent here in the state, and it has actually, you know, populated yeah, both teams for the last uh, however many years. So we're looking forward to getting in here and, you know, seeing some of the guys that they got on their board some of the guys that we need to get in on and, and try to get those guys to commit and uh, continue to be hopeless. You look ready to go to work. I am. I am. <laughs> Outstanding. It's good to meet you. Thank you. Good Thank to you, meet sir. you. See you again yes, a lot. You've coached with uh, Justin Fuente for a long time now uh, yes. at Illinois State and at Memphis. Uh, when he approached you about this job, was it kind of a no-brainer for you? Like, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely for me, going. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, I hitched my wagon to him a long time ago, and he's been an awesome coach, and I, I truly believe in what he's doing and what he's about. So it was definitely a no-brainer for me. A big move and a big change for you. No doubt, and it's just, uh, we're just so thrilled. Uh, you know what Coach Beamer and Coach Foster and all the guys have done here, just to have the tradition already, you know, built here of, of winning, going out and competing for championships every year. So um, we got a good foundation to come to, and just heard so many great things about the people here and from uh, the ones that work at Virginia Tech to the town and everything. And, our families are pumped up and everything, so we're, we're just excited to get started. Uh, a, a different coaching challenge than the one you guys faced at Memphis, clearly, mm-hmm. um, in terms of kind of continuing something and, and you, you're building from something. Yeah. So, uh, to change your perspective a little bit, I mean, obviously it gets down X's and O's, but some of the other stuff like recruiting is going to be different. No doubt, and that's, you know, it's the biggest concern, I think, just because of the regions are different for a lot of us. And, um, you know, depending on what happens with the guys that are still here and everything, obviously with Coach Foster, that's going to help us a lot. And, um, you know, even through the recruiting department here, I'm sure that will help us where we need to go. And the great thing is that, you know, um, we've always done good in Virginia. And I think when you can sign players from your home state, you know, uh, uh, I think it helps everything, you know, as far as the transition and we, we got to get to know Virginia real well first and then, then kind of work from there. All right, and we're learning on the fly here, but you did a lot with special teams, right? And that's mm-hmm. what the coach was talking about. Yes. And obviously, huge tradition here for a lot of years about special teams and Beamer Ball. So um, excited, I guess, to follow that. <laughs> scared to follow the pressure's that. on. I was say, no pressure. Anything we're well, on you. as a coach, just watching it, I mean, uh, yeah. there's the amazing things they've done over time here. Obviously, Coach Beamer and the staff focused on it a lot. And it starts with the head man. We've done the same things, and um, we get everybody involved with it. And, uh, you know, it comes down to players seeing that it's really important and it'll help you win games. And we've been able to do that, and I know it's uh, it's something we got to match up to, and that's what we plan on doing. It's great to meet you. You I'll too. see you a lot. Thank John. y'all for having us. We're really excited now. We're very excited to be here. So Appreciate you. Yeah. When did uh, Coach Fuente approach you about this job, and was it kind of a no-brainer for you to come along for the ride? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, about midway through when things started going crazy, you know, and uh, his name's out there. You know, just talked about some different things and people calling. Uh, and this was the one he kind of – you know, had his mind totally locked on just just from everything we've heard just about the fit and uh, what this program's about, you know, as far as tough, and, you know, hard type guys and everything. So, um, but I think it was about middle to, you know, a little bit later than that that uh, things stopped, started popping up about Virginia Tech. So, 
of course, we're thrilled. We just heard so many great things about, you know, the town and uh, community and all that. I mean, for families and everything, too. I mean, they're, they're fired up about it. So.